Hey, welcome back. It is Wednesday. It is super hot out. Um, it was hot yesterday too. Did you go outside and do anything fun? You could um, have your grown-ups help you write it in Class Dojo if you want to share it if you want. Um, it's supposed to be hot all week this week, which is awesome. I love it when it's super hot out. Do you like hot weather or do you like cold weather? Maybe you like rainy weather. I don't know. Um, let's say hello to everyone. Here we go. Claris, Evelyn, Eva, Sky, Francisco, Jamie. This is Shores. Christian, Jonathan, Moses, Michael, Amaya, Addison, Logan, Haley, Brandon, Anais, Amilo, Gabriel, and Trinity. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Um, let's talk about what we're doing today. Today's schedule. We're having our class meeting right now. You know, I probably should have done the schedule first and then your name cards, shouldn't I? Because that's part of class meeting. Maybe I'll remember that tomorrow. So we're having class meeting right now. Uh, then we'll do our morning work, have reading group time, um, do literacy block. Remember, we're working on the little school bus. Uh, do some math together and then finish our day with writing. We're writing the letters of the alphabet. Yesterday was A, so what will today be, do you think? You got it. I hope you got it right. Um, so that's what we're doing. Let's work on our calendar. Yesterday was the 8th. What comes after 8? It's a nine. Today is the ninth. Let's use, hmm, how about our singing voice? I really like singing voice. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'd like to be an opera singer when I grow up. I think that would be fun. Uh, also, I am already very grown up, so I, I don't think I'm gonna get to do that, but you could. Um, today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. Remember I said yesterday to think about what would come next, that we had a rectangle next? Did you think that it would be a triangle? I knew it. You're so smart. You got it all figured out. Um, let's see what comes next. Morning work. So in your packets, get your little purple packet out and we'll do our next day of morning work. Let's do some morning work. Remember morning work is the purple paper. It says morning work. I'm going to rip mine out. Remember, you don't have to. You can leave them in your packet if you choose. It's up to you. Then we'll need our name tag again to write our name at the top. And we're practicing those lines again. So when we get to writing letters, you guys will be amazing at it. Paint your fingers on your pencil. I'm using a pen. Start at the top. Make a straight line down. Today, my hand is making a tooting sound. Can you hear that? Listen. Sounds funny.
There we go. Now we're going to make lines starting on this side and going over to this side. If you need to pause it now and finish, go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna look down below and we'll draw a line to match the items that are the same. So our first picture over here is an acorn. Can you find an acorn over here? I see it, let's draw a line. To match the acorns. Next is a bird. Let's draw a line to match the birds. And last is a sunflower. Draw a line to match the sunflowers. Then you can pause the video and color in your pictures of the backpack and books. The, I think this is a pencil pouch and then your acorns and birds and flowers. Reading group time. Reading group is your orange paper. The first packet, the one that says your name at the bottom because you wrote it in yesterday, remember that? We're working on this letter A. What sound does A make? Ah. You say that, like ant on an apple, ah, ah, ah. Let's do our introductions next. I'll do mine first and then you'll do yours. I'm Mrs. Shores. Now it's your turn. Ready? Begin. Did you just read your name? Awesome job. All right. Just like yesterday, we'll start going up the ladder. Let's say the sounds together. Ready? Begin. Woof. Meow. Ah. Oink. Ah. Woof. Ah. Very good job. So um, you can pause it now and do that again if you want to, or you can come back to it later and keep practicing. It's your choice. But I'm going to get my paper. I'm gonna take one page and flip it up like this. Then I'm going to use my fingers to pinch it together in the corner. I'm on page two. Here's a little two down here. That shows me the page number I'm on. On this page, we're going to practice using our pointer fingers and our voice together. So on the heart row, we're going to touch the dot and, and say what it is. So two pointer fingers on this dot. What do you see right here above the dot? Scissors. Next dot. Paper. Glue, crayons. Let's do that again. We're looking at the heart row, two pointer fingers on the first dot. Now I'm gonna say ready, begin. And after I say begin, we'll read these four things together. Okay, here we go. Ready, begin. Scissors, paper, glue, crayons. Nice job. Let's look at the star row. These are the same things, but in a different order. Let's read them. Ready, begin. Paper, scissors, crayons, glue. Very good. One more time. Ready, 
begin. Paper, scissors, crayons, glue. Very nice. And the last part on this page, the smiley face row. In this circle, there's an ant. Let's touch the dot and say ant. Ready? Begin. Ant. Now we're going to use our hands to stretch out the word ant. So when I say it just as a regular word, I'll have my hands close together like this. Ant. Now I'm going to stretch it out and stretch my hands. Watch. Ant. Ant. Try that with me. Ant. 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 Job. Now I'm going to count the sounds that I just made in the word ant. What was the first sound that you heard in ant? Ah, mm, t. Those three sounds were an ant. You say that. Ah, mm, t. Ant. Three sounds in ant. We're going to flip over and look on this page that doesn't have a number. Great. We're going to read a little bit um, about Anthony Ant. Put your two pointer fingers on this dot. This is Anthony. Anthony likes to draw. Who is this? This is Anthony. What does Anthony like to do? Anthony likes to draw. Here's Anthony getting ready to draw. Let's look down below. This is Anthony. Anthony is drawing. Who is this? This is Anthony. What is Anthony doing? Anthony is drawing. Nice job. We can go ahead and put this away. Back in your reading group packet. Good job. Okay, um, literacy block. We're talking about the little school bus and we're talking about rhyming words. So we're just gonna go over each of the characters from the little school bus, the characters are um, the people or animals or things that are in our story. We're going to talk about their rhymings. So this is the quick chick. You say those quick chick rhyme. Here's the pig in the wig. Say pig wig. Pig wig rhyme. Next is the squirmy worm. Say squirm worm. Very good. I also like that the swarm is wearing backpack even though he doesn't really have a back or arms or anything else that he needs. Oh, look at this sleepy sheep. Sometimes I feel like that sleepy sheep. Say sleep sheep. Good job. Sleep sheep rhyme. How about the hairy bear? Say hair bear. Good. Here is a fox in socks. Say fox socks. Excellent. And last is our goat in a coat. Say goat coat. Very good. Um, We'll keep practicing with these guys tomorrow. We're going to work on putting them in order of how they got on the bus. So we're going to have to try to remember back to which order they got on the bus. And we're going to put them in the right order because our amazing words are first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So that's what we'll talk about tomorrow. And for a practice page for literacy block, we'll get our packet out. We'll work on the next page.
So for this page, um, we're just going to use our pencil for now. Write your name at the top. And all together, we're going to figure out the words that rhyme. Um, and we're gonna figure out, there are two pictures in this row that rhyme, and we'll circle those two. Um, when you're all done, and when we're done with this all together, you'll go back and color your pictures, but we don't have to do that part together on the video. So let's talk about these pictures. Here's a log, ham, Finn, dog. Say those with me. Log, ham, fin, dog. Can you tell the two that rhyme? Log, dog. Circle those because log, dog, rhyme. Say log, dog with me. Log, dog. They rhyme. Those are our two rhyming words, so we'll circle those with our pencil. All right, so this one's kind of tricky. This dog likes to dig. That's what the picture shows us. Dig. So you say that. Mop. Pig. Cat. Let's say those all together. Dig mop, pig, cat. Which two rhyme? Dig, pig. Say dig, pig. Dig, pig, rhyme. Very good. Our next row, we have net, sun, car, wet. Let's say those all together. Net, sun, car, wet. Which two words rhyme? I'll give you a hint. This is one of them, net. Think of something that rhymes with net. Which one could it be? It's wet. Net, wet, rhyme. You say those words. Very good. All right, and then the last one shows us pen, bun, peck, wag. Oh no, this isn't peck, this is a hen. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was goofed up. Pen, bun, hen, wag. I'll give you a hint. Pen is one of them. Pen. Think of what rhymes with pen. Pen, bun. Pen, hen. Pen, wag. It's the hen. It's the word that I messed up at the beginning. Sorry about that. Our two rhyming words are pen, hen. We know log, dog rhyme. Dig, pig rhyme. Net, wet rhyme. And pen, hen rhyme. So now you can go back and color those in. Let's practice some uh, math stuff next. So our math book, remember how yesterday we um, traced our hands on the inside cover? We're going to be looking at that today. So open up your math book to this page and get your little small objects. Remember yesterday I used paper clips. I think I might use those again today because I still have them sitting here. You can use whatever you have at your house that's small that can fit on your fingers, okay? So take one of your small objects and put it on your pinky. How many fingers have something on them? One. Which finger is it? It's your pinky, just like I'm showing right now. Put something on your next finger. Now how many fingers have something on them? Two. Your pinky and your next finger. 
This is your ring finger. Now, put something on the very next finger. Don't skip fingers, put them in a row. How many fingers have something on them? One, three. Three fingers are covered now. Very good. Now, let's see if we can take one away. Now, how many fingers have something on them? Two, just like this. One, two fingers. Take another one away. Now, how many fingers? One, like this. Okay, now it's time for your hand to be like this hand. I'm going to move mine out of the way. You can leave yours in front of you if you want. So here's my hand. Can you show me your hand? We're going to start like this. We're playing a game called Show Me Fingers. I'll say a number and you show me that many fingers, just like we did with our um, paper, okay? So remember, we always start with the pinky and we don't skip any fingers. And we'll go up and back down. So, quick, show me one. Yours should look like mine. Show me two. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do those two fingers, isn't it? Show me one. Oh, so you take down. Show me two. One. Two. Three, two, three, two, three, two, one. Very good. We're gonna get all the way up. Every day we'll do a little bit more and we'll do this hand and then we'll get to doing both hands. But right now we're just practicing up to three. So nice job. Okay, so this time I'm going to put my fingers up and you're going to say out loud how many I'm showing, okay? Nice job. All right, we're gonna go back to our workbook. Yesterday, we made matches of things that were the same. Today, we're gonna match things that are almost the same. There's something, there's just a little bit of something different about them, and we're gonna talk about what it is. So first, we have this cat that's walking. Do you see something over here that looks like this cat, but a little bit different? Yes, this cat that's sitting. Are they both cats? Yes, they are. They look the same. They're doing something a little bit different, but they're almost the same. There we go. Next, we have this monkey. He has his hands up on his ears. Maybe he's covering them because it's loud. Do you see something over here that looks like that monkey? Yes, this monkey that has his hands on his mouth. These are both monkeys. They're doing different things with their hands, but they're almost the same. <laughs> this one's silly. Here's a lamb that's just smiling and being happy. Do you see a lamb on this side? Right here. This lamb is sticking its tongue out at us. That's silly. My dog likes to stick his tongue out when he sleeps. So these are both lambs, just making different faces. Down here is a teddy bear that's laying down. Do you see something over here that looks like that teddy bear? Yes, a teddy bear that's sitting up. They're both teddy bears, they're just in different positions. So these are the same, but one is 
different a little bit than the other one. Nice job, guys. Okay, guys, it's the end of our day. It is Wednesday. We did a lot of hard work today. It's time for our alphabet tracing. Yesterday we worked on A, so what do you think will come next? B. Let's look at our Bs. We're going to start at the top and make a straight line down. Then B has two curved lines. Curve around, curve around. Do it again. Straight line down, curve around, curve around. One more time. Straight line down, curve around, curve around. Now let's make them on our own. Start at the top, make a straight line to the bottom. Pick your pencil up, jump back up there to the top and make a curve line that comes all the way in, comes out and all the way back in. Let's do that again. Straight line down, jump back up, curve in, curve in. Sometimes when I concentrate, I get kind of quiet. I'm trying to make beautiful bees. All oh, beautiful starts with a B. There we go. Lowercase bees are kind of the same, but without that top bump. So start at the top and make a straight line down, but then you just make one circle behind it. Straight line down, one circle behind it. Keep going. Straight line down. One circle behind it. I'm not picking my pencil up at all. I make my B, my lowercase b, with my pencil on my paper the whole time. Now, just like yesterday, you can get your crayons out and you're going to color the bone, bus, blueberries, boots, basket, bug, bat, book, boat, bee, belt, bag, balloons, ball, box, bear, and bird. And find the bees down here and color those in too. You did a really great job today. Um, this is our first long week of learning and you are doing so, so good.